attach the grill. I'm trying to get it turned towards the light. That's a cool setup there. Nice piece, bow tie, solid chrome grill, chromed out headlights, and the, and the bottom balance there is in chrome to match. And it's in surrounded by the blue paint, which really makes it pop. That's what makes that truck look so good, that front end. Looks good all the way around, though. I wonder why Jada doesn't do the differential caps. That would really help that piece. Too much black at the bottom, but nonetheless, a lot of chrome on the sides. And uh, got your bed cover there. I'm not going to go long on these pieces on the interior and all. Y'all know what Jada interior looks like. Uh, my light's not situated right now to get in there. I had so many things to open, I had to get away from my light. And my turntable's crooked. And so let me move on. Y'all stare at the background for a moment. Bear with me as I do another package crackage off screen. Next up is your uh, 72 Chevy Cheyenne. One more from Jada's Just Truck series. 72 Chevy Cheyenne, and I'm gonna tell you, I really like this piece. Not only is it one of my favorite colors in orange, wrapped in my one of my favorite colors, but look at the chrome lifted suspension. Now they get they gave it some detail there. Of course, you got your chrome Jada wheels, but. You don't always find that painted lifted suspension and drivetrain. Now that is a cool piece. Uh, the, the side tampos, it's not really tampos, it's painted on. And that's in uh, purple and white. That's a white, oh, what do you call it, a scallop? With an outline in purple on orange. And I'm just digging the tampos, or well, it's not tampos, it's painted. I'm digging the whole paint scheme on this truck, man. It's just a sharp piece axles and all of it clear lens headlights oh man this thing is sharp everything's chromed out on the front end just a simple basic interior on that old uh, Chevy Cheyenne long bit long box at that guys check it out that's not a short box that is just a sharp piece I don't know. you know I'm not gonna get it to set up here good but I'll give it a shot here Check that piece out, man. That is sharp. Too sharp. Too cool for school, as they used to say. That is a nice piece. Now, I've got two more openings. I'm going to get them done here. We're running really long, super long on time. Uh, next up is another one, and the last one out of the Just Trucks Jada. And it is a 56 Ford F100 pickup. It is wrapped in black and green paint, metallic green paint at that, um, on the cab. Just on the cab and on top of the hood, some scallops on the hood. Man, I hate to move this Cheyenne. That is one of my favorite pieces right there. I'm going to have to leave it in the background. And check out that Ford F-150. I can't get a good shot of it there. That black is just black. Can you see the hood there? The uh, metallic green scallops on the hood. There you go. Shot of it. All the green you got there is the cab and the hood. And the rest of it is all jet black, and I mean that is a shiny jet black. Um, well, I'm looking close. I guess that's just light shining on it. It looked like it had a purple pearl in it. I guess it does not. You got your steely wheels from Jada there. Let's check out the front end. Up front, you got your uh, winch bar, some fog lights. Not a whole lot of detail, but just enough for that Ford F100 or F150 front end to look good. Sets it off. Out back, you've simply really just got your fenders and back wheels. You've got some uh, roll pan there with the VET Stingray tail lights in it. Man, that's hard to get on camera there with that black paint. You can see the double round tail lights in the roll pan. What is that, that ZR1 roll pan? And your bed cover, that's not a bad looking piece. <clears throat> got one more to open, and it's not really a big one. I did not save the best for last. I just opened them as they came, random order here. I don't really like this casting. Uh, it did come with a collector's button, by the way. If you get into Monster Jam, Hot Wheels, they do come with these collector buttons. I don't know, maybe someday they might be worth something, maybe not. I wasn't really into Monster Jams until, well, you guys know which one I'm referring to because it's my 
the home picture on my on this channel that uh, storm damage was the name of it you can see the picture on my channel if you go to my home on my channel uh, I fell in love with that body I wasn't really into monster jam hot wheels stuff at all until I seen that one and I bought it but I wasn't happy with the suspension on it because it was casted if you see that video I shot it's casted in all blue molded one piece suspension everything's the same color and you can tell it's just a big piece of plastic well I bought this one and again I'm not really I mean that's a, a little Ford F-150 casting nothing special to it but I'm not really into the skeleton thing so I bought this particularly to take the body off of it swap bodies in other words with storm damage let's see if I can dig my storm damage out and let you see what I'm talking about here I'm gonna there's storm damage if I can get it to set up there I don't think I will them wheels are way too loose Check it out here. Better start right here. Anyway, you can see the suspension on storm damage here is all cast in blue, no detail except for the engine. I'm gonna and the wheels. I want the green wheels on storm damage. These green wheels and this black chassis. I'm gonna swap bodies here. The only reason I bought this one. So guys, that's Gail at Altered Autos Diecast. Give me some love as I love you guys and watch your shows, your movies, your videos, your clips, uh, listen to your music. I like and, and sub. I uh, just ask you to share the favors. Move in the king, move out the kings of crunch, and move in Jada's uh, just truck series. All metal, all metal on metal, uh, lifted suspension. That particular one, I threw the card down before I read. Uh, that's a Ford Raptor. I can tell you that. That's obvious, huh? With the blue racing stripes on the white paint, and I cannot get to the package now. Uh, Ford Raptor. That's got to be what from somewhere from 2017 on up. Ford Raptor, nice looking little piece. 
get you a close-up look at it. I really like Jada's wheels they do for their four-wheel drive truck. They stay sharp on their wheels, and that's what sells their pieces, I think. I said metal on metal. I'm not sure if that chassis is metal or not. That thing's super light. If that's metal, that's some thin metal. Anyway, the package does say all metal. And, uh, of course, your Ford Raptor there. Not a whole lot of detail, but just enough to make that look nice. Nice little monster truck or lifted truck, raised truck, however you refer to them. I'm just going to call them all monster trucks because they're all going in one collection. Uh, no matter what it is, it's going to be a lifted truck. It's going to go in my monster collection. You can look at the background there as I open this next piece. And the next piece is your, before I trash the package, 99 Chevy Silverado Dually. You know, Jada spells that different instead of dually, like D-U-A-L-L-Y, which would be a dually, dual wheels on each side. They spell it D-O-O-L-E-Y. I guess you've probably looked at the package and seen that, but maybe some of you haven't. That's your dually, D-O-O-L-E-Y. And she may not, that's a loose roller there. It might not stay on my turntable. 99 Chevrolet Dewey. I like that piece. I like the colors they put on it. The dark blue, royal blue, and silver. And, of course, the chrome wheels. You always like those off the Jada models, right? Never a gripe about their chrome wheels. Lifted suspension, of course. We know that's a Jada trademark. Got some. I'm trying to get it turned to where you can see those step tube rails. That's pretty sharp. I like tube rails. They painted the side mirrors. That's cool got your little bottom balance in the front air dam there to match and remember that God loves you God is good um, God bless you oh I did not mention I've got this mail truck sitting out here because I've got a little pot lid mirror I don't even know if the camera will pick it up I can't even get it let's see there it is a little pot lid mirror when I, as soon as I open this, uh,
Backcast fans, it's Gail back from Author Dotto. We're going to do uh, some package trackage and uh, show you a little bit of the golf uh, garage that I put on my workbench and some of the things I've been up to. I've got a couple mail calls and a few hauls from the stores and uh, building a uh, shelf, a wall shelf unit to hold all of my monster trucks, Monster Jam Hot Wheels and uh, my uh, green light Kings of Crunch and uh, Jada big four wheel drive raised up monster trucks and I'm going to have a collection of those and I'm building a shelf unit to go on the wall here by my workbench and I'll show that off later. I'm going to open some packages here. The uh, Golf uh, 60s Fiat 500D Modificado. Um, wanted to get this car simply because I have a lot of golf stuff and I built this golf garage to go on my workbench. Just a little diorama display of my golf stuff which will be on this video um, but I didn't have this this vehicle I really don't care for it didn't really like this one that much but then if you get to looking at it closely I mean for what it is it's pretty neat and of course it's golf so it's got to go in the collection right anything with the golf livery is gonna have to go in the golf collection and check it out open the hood on that little thing and look at the little guts it's got in it man for that little bitty thing that's pretty nice and uh, who can dislike the wheels and tires right I uh, never, never get tired of seeing those uh, those orange wheels on the golf cars. That just something about it makes them look good. A modern touch to an old livery, old golf livery. Uh, like the tampos on the little thing. I've got to say they look neat on the on the little thing, and I've got a perfect spot for it right beside the Shelby in the golf station. I'm gonna go ahead and pack, uh, crack the package on that, and uh, then I'll set her where she goes. Uh, I'll show her off later of where she sits because if I move the camera now, we're going to have a mess trying to get it back to where it is. So I'm going to go ahead off camera and put her where she goes. And I'll show that off here in a little while. And if I can get it in there. All right. So that's that. We're going to leave that alone for now and I'll show you that later. Got a lot of stuff to open here. I'm going to start off with my M2s. I buy these at Hobby Lobby, the ones that have the extra sets of wheels with them, real riders. For those of you that do customs, you can get these. Let's see if I can get the price tag in there. You probably know this one's $9.99, but you can go in there and get these for as low as $6.99. You get a good car, which is this one's particular one's a Mustang Shelby, but uh, you can get the car in the axles and the wheels. Uh, what is that one? two three sets extra sets of wheels real rider wheels with that so if you're doing customs man this is a deal you go to buy those wheels online by their sales you're gonna pay what 20 bucks for one set of wheels and you can get all these and make your custom of course they're not all the different sizes they're all the same size and they're kind of small the m2 wheels but they do help on customs that's a cheap way to get them plus you get a nice ride like i said that's a 19 uh, 65 shelby gt350 got a Mustang collection so that'll go in the collection uh, not, nothing real fancy about that one it's the white with the blue racing stripes on it got all the M2 detail on it it's not a bad piece a nice looking piece I don't really care for the white wheels on it but I want those chrome wheels for some customs so it's gonna keep its white wheels and so yeah let's go ahead if I can on screen get my knife open here and crack the package and let it breathe. Let's see if we can get it all open there. Kind of hard on camera because I've got other stuff behind it to open up there and I don't have a lot of space. But we're going to get it out of there. Let's take a peek at what we got. One more slice with the knife ought to do it. Get rid of some trash. got the wheels out. Let's take a peek at those wheels real quick. You can see right above them they package the axles in there for them. And it's kind of like those uh each one of those is about the same. It's kind of like your old school Kragers back in the day back in the 70s when Kragers were real big but these look good on custom. You got some white letter tires there. No red lines in that package but a lot of these will come with red line tires. White wall I mean the sidewall got a red line on it two sets of these have different 
uh, white letters. One says Firestone, one says Goodyear. No, I'm sorry. I take that back. Goodyear Blue. Man, if I could read that small writing. Getting old enough to get a magnifying glass. <laughs> blue something or another. Goodyear Blue, and that's all I can read. Blue Stone is what it looks like. Goodyear Blue Stone. Uh, one says Goodyear Blue Stone, and one says just simply says Goodyear, and then the last set are just black wall. I don't know if I can get that fine writing all the way up focused in the screen there or not. That middle set says Goodyear, and then the last set over to the left says Goodyear, and then says Bluestone on it. Anyway, these are good for customs, guys. Ten bucks for a car and uh, axles and extra wheels. Let's go ahead and bust the car out of the package there. You know these M2s come on their own little display stand. I'm not going to take the time to take that off right now. Just let you take a look at her there, the Mustang Shelby uh, 65 model. No opening pieces on that car. Uh, those that come with the extra wheels usually don't have any moving parts other than the wheels. But uh, nonetheless, it's a good deal. You can change the wheels on that particular piece or you can keep the wheels for a custom. As I said, not a bad deal. And as you take a look at that Shelby, just kind of sneak this one in the side view here. That'll be the next one open, the Super B. Uh, let's see, what is that? That's a 1970 model Dodge Super B, 383. Always know that's a hot car. That's similar to uh, Gas Monkey's uh, well, in fact, I've got Gas Monkeys, the Hot Wheels Monster Jam, the Gas Monkeys car. I really don't like cars jacked up like that, but the Gas Monkey car, that looks pretty cool in this color. Anyway, let's get back to this. You take a look at that Mustang, and I'm going to open this Super B up. I think I'm going to try to keep the car dark and uh, make some wall decor out of it. I think I mentioned that in a previous video. If you want wall decor in your man cave or your display room or wherever you collect your die cast these card arts are pretty darn good for some uh, wall decor now see I, the bubble kind of tore that up I didn't get it quite, quite right but if you cut that out super B symbol and I can glue that back in off that bubble the piece of paper that come off anyway that's good wall art good decor so think about that next time you pack your crack your packages try to take care of them and make use of them Recycling, reclaiming the package. Okay, so you've seen enough of the Shelby. She's out. And the Dodge Super B is in the 383, 1970 model. Take a peek at that. Now, if you want some good old American muscle, there it is right there, friends. It doesn't get much stronger than that when you're talking about good old time, old school American muscle. Mopar power, buddy. Got the Mopar stripe or strap across the back deck lid with a little fin on it. Got the uh, Ram Air injected hood. Dual Ram Air injected, I might say. Uh, let's see what kind of wheels does she have on her. Well, it's five spoke, five chrome five spoke, black wall tire. Got the Super B uh, symbol on the up on top there. If I can get the light on it, there you go. And then on the side, up on the door, it says. Uh, Rumblebee, join the fun catch dodge fever. Pretty sharp piece there, huh? Okay, so while you're looking at the Rumblebee, next in line will be this Firebird, which is casted in one of my, or painted I should say, it's not casted in, but painted in one of my favorite colors. I just love that color on a car, kind of in between green and gold. Okay, so check take another look at that rumble bee and I'll show you the firebird and the firebird is one more of those that comes with this extra set of wheels the super bee did not have wheels with it I just got it because I liked it it's also another one of my favorite colors and also one of my favorite castings that uh, super bee and then the Pontiac GTO they're real similar and I like those castings that particular rumblebee, like I said, is in one of my favorite colors, so I couldn't pass it up. Let's check out the wheels. Let's move the rumblebee. Put in the uh, 1968 Pontiac Firebird with the 400 HD engine. 
and check out the wheels. The extra wheels that came with it. The first set, see if I can read that, uh, Goodyear Eagles. Those are Goodyear Eagles and they've got some extra tread on them, almost like a maybe a snow tire or something of the sort. And the second set here, if I can read those, if I can get them in the line, that's just black walls. And most of these, well, all of them are just like your old school Kragers again, but they're chrome wheels, which are good for customs. And the last set there is your lead, red line wall, sidewall. Dang, I can't talk. Let me get it straight. <laughs> okay, the last set here to the right, these two are the sidewalls have red lines on them, the ones I mentioned earlier. So you get three extra sets of wheels there once again. And check out the Firebird. What a piece, huh? What a nice color that is. That's uh, the endorsement on there is ET Mags. And the wheels that uh, came on it are pretty sharp. I would leave those on there if I had it. And since I do have it, guess what? They're staying on. They match the color almost perfectly if I don't drop it. Uh, let's see what the tires say. Just simply say Goodyear. And that's five star wheels kind of a gold color that plastic gold color now this particular car looks like the hood opens i know i've got it off screen bear with me a minute guys maybe it doesn't open it sure looks like it does i mean the m2 really gets some detail in there to make it look like it's going to open don't they it does not open that's a, a disappointment but most of these don't as i said earlier don't have moving parts but still, it's a good piece to put up on your display shelves, especially in that color. Uh, ET Mags, I've not, before I seen this, I've not heard of them. The sponsor on here, the livery, the tempos. But uh, check out the, the one racing stripe and the blown engine and the green color. And that Firebird, that casting, man, that's just a tight muscle car. When you start talking muscle, you got to include that old late 60s Firebird. I do not have a Trans Am or Firebird collection started. I've got a couple, but not enough to say I've got a collection started. Now, I do have a Camaro collection started, and I've got a lot of the 60s Camaros. I guess now I'm going to have to start the Firebirds. Uh, M2 does good detail. Not so much on these pieces as some of their other mainline pieces, but still, you've got the M2 detail there. Not the red tail lights, but you've got it's, a, it's all detailed out. The tail lights are marked, in other words. They're, uh, oh, let's see, just a little bit of red paint there and outlined in silver. I can't get it right in the light and focused in the camera good. There, maybe you can see it right there. So it's not exactly like M2's normal detail in their main line. It's a little cheaper because you're getting the wheels and all with it. But still, what a deal for $6.99. Three sets of extra wheels and, uh, this car, this piece, sure, I'll take it. So take another peek at that Firebird as we open up one more set of golf pieces. And I'm probably going to have to just move my whole stand out of the way there so you can focus on this. That's a large piece. That is your 1966 Ford Bronco and your 2015 Ford F-150 and your flatbed trailer, all with golf livery, orange golf wheels, get a different angle there get a front end picture of them in the package got your ramps to your trailer there uh, I, I like I'm digging the the roll bars in the bed of the f-150 pretty cool you can't really see them too much in the package but you know what we're gonna do about that I'm gonna try to save some of this card art as you can see right there you can see where my tip of my thumb is up top there on that package that's a good piece to cut out and put on your diorama. So you save your your package, your art, you know, the artwork on the packages. Watch what you got and save it if it'll work on your dioramas or any of that. There's the back of the package before I crack it. If you want to pause on that and read it, certainly welcome to. Uh, I'm not going to stay in the package. She's coming out, so I'm going to let you take one last peek at the Firebird as I crack this package off screen is a coming apart. There's even some black and white checkered stuff on this card art that will work such as a parking lot on their diorama, something to park your cars on. So you gotta I spy the stuff that's in the package, the card art, the paint, and the 
stickers, details, uh, whatever they put on the card are. Sometimes you gotta watch it to keep it. It's all handy in the world of, uh, well, what do I want to say? Customizing. Customizing not only your die cast, but your dioramas, your setup, your display, your layout, whatever you call it in your world. Just everything you come across, just keep an eye on it and see if it'll help you your setup. It'll work to the desired result that you have for your layout. Okay, I've got this out of the package. We're gonna move the Firebird, and uh, we'll take them out of this plastic piece. On it. There is your Ford F-150 taking center stage there. Well, that's not center stage. I just want to get her to stay up there. The wheels are really rolling. That is a good roller. See if I could prop my stand up a little, get it leveled out. Do it like that. Ford F-150, uh, 2015 model. Check out the roll bars, I'm digging that. And I like the golf livery, of course, and y'all know right back here, if you can see where I'm pointing is my golf uh, racing garage full service garage, all golf stuff. Of course, this set's gonna go in there. Uh, as I did with the little Fiat, and I'll set them up and I'll show it off later because if I move my camera, we're gonna have a hard time getting back. Okay, so that's your Ford F-150. Get a closer look at it. Plastic, no, that's metal chassis. Metal on metal. I think all of this is metal on metal. I like that brush guard on the front of that too, that, that just looks right on that model truck. That full grill looks perfect with that brush guard. It fits right in. Okay, so you got your plastic side mirrors and, and uh, step boards. They black those out. I'm not sure if I like that. They should have painted those the mirrors, the side mirrors blue and the step boards uh, orange. That go with the golf livery. But other than that, I'm well pleased with it. Sure, before I say, yeah, it's green light, put out by green light, so you would expect some detail on there. Uh, green light and M2 are real similar in their details, they're good at it, way better than Hot Wheels. We've got to give them that. But, uh, and they did include the trailer hitch on the Ford F 150, of course, because the trailer is in this set. More often than not, when you get a truck these days, there's no trailer hitch. Got the black bed liner, which looks good racing stripes and the tampos there and the golf ball on the hood door actually on the back quarter panel uh, got your roundel with the 66 number on the doors once again i like that truck i'm not a ford guy but i like that truck okay so set the ford aside and there's your flatbed trailer tandem axle you got the orange plastic wheels what are they those there are either 10 or 12 spokes. i'm not going to take the time to count them you can the wood bed in it. Looks like wood grain. I can't get the light to get it right. Maybe you'll pick it up on camera there. Got the golf uh, orange and blue on the fenders. And your goose neck there. And your tone. Uh, that is a metal trailer. It's got screws in it. I guess the screws hold the wood bed in. And of course the axle's inside there. I was trying to see on the rear did they put tail lights on it. They did not. It's got marker lights there across the bottom, but no tail lights. That's uh, interesting. Nonetheless, neat piece. Uh, we're in the background. Let's see if I can't get her set up because we're about to pull that bronco out of there and that's going to go on the trailer. Let's see if I can back that in screen there. There you go. And then uh, what's left in the package, of course, are the ramps. I'm not going to show them off right now, but I will show off that little Bronco. That is a neat piece, friends. Check out the suspension. Can you see that? That is some deep detail on that suspension for uh, Greenlight. They actually went through putting a four-wheel drive lifted suspension. Uh, whole chassis is lifted there. That's pretty sharp. 
You got your matching roundels on the door and matching golf balls on the back quarter panels. You got your rear parker lights, a spare tire cover with the golf ball, good detailed tail lights, pretty straight. Squared off there, racing tempo on the top with the golf ball on the hood. And uh, got your chrome rims around your orange plastic wheels, and those are either 10 or 12 spokes. Probably 10 looking at the size of the wheel. And of course, your brush guard and your bumper and your headlights. Nice detail on the front end there. Matching the Ford F 150 wheel. You're going to get tied down. I'll get you some colored rubber bands for those of you that have seen where guys tie their trucks or full wheel drives or race cars down to a trailer, whatever it is. Get some little small colored rubber bands in the office aisle at Walmart. You're going to look like some colored tie down straps, and that's exactly what you need. I don't have any right now, but that's what I'm going to get, and I'll tie that down on there unless I decide to do otherwise over there at the golf shop. Uh, this will be the, uh, one of the delivery trucks. Okay, so moving on. Let me get the ramps out of that package just quickly. And now we're done with our M2s, and we're done. Uh, I think I've got... No, I'm not done with the green lights. We're done with the M2s. We started green light, so let me finish green light. We'll finish opening up green light. Let me let you take another look at that Bronco. Take a peek, see at it while I get this pack, next green light package open. I guess I could have showed it there. Oh gosh, I've uh, got a short clip of mail call when I got this out of the mail. The box it came in. This is what's going to be open next, and that is your 1970 Chevrolet K10 with the USA1 delivery, I'm sorry, USA1 livery on it. Kings of Crunch by Greenlight, you can't tell on the card art there. Okay, so as the Bronco flips off the stage, take a look at it, and I'll get this out of the package. Package crackage, my friends. That's what it's all about, right? Getting it out of the package, smelling the new checking out all the details that are new to you stuff you've seen in the store or on ebay as you were looking at it and you thought man i just gotta have it and i'll tell you why i just had to have this particular green light and i ain't afraid to say it i believe in jesus i am a preacher and pastor and check out what this truck says on it i don't know if the camera is focus on it but right there in front of the back wheel black letters one nation under God, brother. And that's what I say. We are one nation under God, and I still believe in the Lord. The Lord's still on his throne, and the Lord's still good. So praise God for that. That's the only reason I had to have this particular green light truck. Uh, I was not really sold on delivery on it, the tampos, all that much. I mean, it's a sharp truck. Who doesn't like the old 60 model Chevy trucks, right? That's all right. She's built to flip. Didn't hurt her a bit. Let me get a close-up view here. I just wasn't really sold on the way they decorated it, but it's not not that bad of a piece. And besides that, as I said, I'm building the shells, so I'm going to need to fill a lot of holes. And this is one of a series that I'm collecting, so why not go ahead and get it? I don't like the gray wheels. I'm not a fan of gray plastic wheels. I'll probably have to paint those. But nonetheless, USA decoration, there's nothing wrong with it. Got the blown motor. A little bit small for this big truck, but... Got some chroma sticking out of the hood there, and your big KC lights on the back. What do you got? Five of them there on the roll bar, and your winch on the bumper there. And a little jade look there, right, with the winch hanging out of the front bumper. And on the rear, you've got uh, on the tailgate www.usa-14 uh, by no dash one four by four dot com. Chevrolet logo on the tailgate. Nice and even tail lights there. Bed cover on the back with the bow tie up by the roll bars if the light will pick that up. Not a bad looking truck. I, I, it's worth the money. I'm happy with the piece. Especially since it's got God on it. That'll take a, uh, one of the top shelves just because of that in my uh, collection shelves. Boy, I've got my turntable on a bit unlevel spot there. Let's see now if that'll stay up there. It's still not level. You can check it out there. Green light Kings of Crunch. That's the USA model. 
And while you're checking that out, the next one up is of the same series. Eh, go ahead and fall because i got to show this off anyway. I'm going to get that in the light. Scoot my turntable over here. I'm working myself out of room with all this stuff in the background. Let me back it up. There's our next up to open. Uh, 1975 Ford F-250, mind you. Not 150, but 250. King Kong. Not Bigfoot, but King Kong. Check out the roll bars, the triple chrome roll bars on the back. Man, man that's cool. I'm not a red loving guy, but I like the red on this, the red and the silver, and the wheels that match, and the white letter tires. This is a nice piece. Tires say Goodyear if the camera's not picking it up. I uh, got your bed cover, of course. A lot of detail on this thing, and I'll let you look at the white USA model again once more as I uh, open this package. If it'll stay up there. Give me just a minute, guys. Crack the package. Package crackage. Okay, that one fell off. I don't know why everything's on level there and I can't get my turntable to sit well. But I got the next piece open here. So as we've cracked the package, that is your 75 F250. And that is your King Kong edition of uh, the Kings of Crunch Green Light. Got a lot of detail going on on the front end there. It says King Kong on the bug shield. Got your fog lights and your chrome cap on your diff up front. Down between the wheels there. A lot of nice detail on this piece. Uh, let's see what else we got there. Got some marker lights up above the winch. Or it actually it looks like it might have double winches on it. Marker lights across in front of the, or on top of the double winches. And you got your clear lens headlights. Can you pick them up there? Yeah. And then you got your snorkel, or is that the exhaust? I'm not sure if that's intake or exhaust. They've got it bent the wrong way for intake, so it's got to be the exhaust coming out right uh, up in your uh, cow vent there, right in front of the windshield. Now, that's different. I'd rather have smokestacks in the back, but them row bars wouldn't allow it. There's not enough room left, so maybe that's why they went out the uh, cow vent up by the windshield by the windshield wipers act actually uh, okay so that was the front end and the sides there is your tail end just got your ford logo on the tailgate and the tube bumper and your chrome differential cap and of course you got that uh, green light suspension which is real similar to jada's uh lifted suspension if you get to looking at them they're real similar anyway i like this piece with the it's not a snorkel it's exhaust I think that's a neat look there. I, again, I'd rather be in the bed, but hey, there's nothing wrong with the way it looks there. Got some big old beefy tires on that thing, don't they? Of course, if you're going to call it King Kong, you got to give it something, don't you? Okay, one more green light. I'm just going to set these up and let you take a look at them right here. Uh, both of those, the Bigfoot and the USA model. As I open the next one. I really kind of hate to do the package crackage on this. Let me back those up for a minute. This is, if you can see that card art, trade show exclusive. I know they're all over eBay, which means they're not as rare as one would like them to be, but nonetheless, I hate to tear that packaging up. Someday that may be worth something, but that piece has got to come out. It's in my favorite color and uh, got a lot of detail on it that you can't get picked up in the package. So you guys check that out for a moment, and uh, she's coming out of here. One more time, green light, package crackage, the last green light we have for the day. I don't know, I may have to make another video to get to, uh, I've got a Monster Jam, and uh, about four Jadas over there that need to be open still. I don't know, it may have to be another video. i got to set this package aside where I can keep it, try not to tear it up. All right, look here, guys. Scoot uh, King Kong and USA over and check out that piece driving on the scene. Get a close look there. That is your 1975, uh, 1974 Ford F-250 monster truck. So it would be just a year behind the King Kong red and silver truck we just looked at. And you've got your blown motor. Looks like triple six packs on there. Or, uh, well, it would be a six pack, triple two, two barrels on the, on the blown engine there. 
up front you got your same green light detail you got your front differential cab you got your turn signals your clear lens headlights your winch bar uh, your hooks on your winch no buck shield on that one but it does say on front of the hood it says green light on it now the most of the detail in the livery on this truck or the tampos if you'd like is on the side uh, up on the front qu uh, quarter panel right up front of the door Ooh, man I don't know if I can make that out something TDC I'm not sure what that is uh, something to do with the toy fair I'm, I'm thinking maybe you guys know leave a comment down below if you know what that little decal is and there's another one right at the bottom of the door that I cannot make out it is so small I would have to get a magnifying glass and I don't have one within reach right now actually it's probably behind me but I'm not going to take the time to look for it uh, you can read right there beneath the roll bars toy fair uh, 2019 New York green light and then of course back here way back by the side marker light it's got a little decal that says green light way back there right underneath that marker light there so there's a lot of small detail on this truck that makes it look very sharp and of course you got your KC lights lit up in green on this one five green KC lights across the roll bars got the big old beefy tires on it and the uh, green light suspension there lifted suspension from the rear what do we got uh, just 2019 on the plates and the Ford logo the, the uh, I don't know why Ford does this to their tailgates put that that panel there across the top uh, most Ford trucks have some kind of panel on the tailgate I don't know why they do that anyway you got your chrome differential cap there and of course your green wheels to match your green paint on the casting again it's the same casting as Bigfoot so that's one old 60 model Chevy and two 70 models mid 70 model Fords all green light all from the series king of crunch or kings of crunch plural not a bad setup there i'll be getting more of those as i go and get these shelves built uh, i'll let you view these one more time as i begin to open the next package and we're going to step off uh what are we going to do here we'll step off and do some jada check out those fords there and that chevy i'm not going to show this in a package in lieu of time for this video I'm going kind of long so I'm going to open these up real quick and set them out there for a peek see at them I would like to get my turntable right here maybe this one will stay on and ride right I'm going to move the king <laughs> 